There's a very unique relationship, a very unique history uh, that the black community has with, with medical science. You know, there's the Tuskegee incident where black men were ingest, injected with syphilis. There is the, 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 the history of black women's bodies being used uh, to experiment on. Uh, and so there is all in the backdrop of, uh, of, of mistrust based on the history of African Americans here. And so part of that we can understand. And then once we compound that with the absolute barrage of misinformation that can happen in modern social uh, media, uh, then it's almost understandable that you have a community like this where people's initial reaction will be to ask a lot of questions. And so I think that you know the way forward, number one, is to uh, be prepared to answer people's questions. Be an example. I mean, you know, I take my vaccination. I think that you know, I've challenged people that you know that there were, in fact, uh, several prominent African Americans who were involved in the development of the vaccine. So we can't accurately say they made the vaccine. We all contribute to the science, and then of course, ultimately bringing those kind of services in the community into trusted institutions like a church like this. And I think that we, we make headway. I think it's fear. And I think, for instance, we're sitting here in the middle of a desert with nothing. We can't get anything in this area. So if you're treating us like that, why would I trust you and you say, OK, this is going to save your life? but you got me sitting here in the middle of this desert and I can't even get a water. You have to invest back into this community to gain the trust of the people. People have to feel safe to come out their houses. Seniors don't feel safe coming out. How are they gonna get vaccinated? They're scared to let you in their home because of all the violence. This bubble has to break. So I have friends in New York, one of them, Reverend Al Sharpton, has the National Action Network and has ha had relationships with the uh, federal government. And so uh, we are part of a group of churches uh, from different parts of the country. And, you know, it's here in New Mount Pilgrim in Chicago, Oakdale here in Chicago, but also Abyssinian uh, Church, Baptist Church in New York, which is the church of the late Adam Clayton Powell, the congressman, and then the Ebenezer Baptist Church in Atlanta is a part of this um, coalition of churches. Uh, the, the, that's the Martin Luther King Home Church in Atlanta uh, with Dr. Raphael Warnock there now. So uh, church is trying to lead by example that it's not enough just to shut our doors and to limit our services, but to proact and become, in effect, you know, centers for good information and, and, and ultimately for vaccination services and testing. It's very important that they come here because we wanna make you feel at home. We wanna make you feel that this is something that's right to do. We have Rush comes in. Um, we also have the state come in as well to administer the tests so that you know that these are names that you actually know. So they come in, um, and, and they get the test. And we get people outside of the community. We're open for everyone. So they come from everywhere. So we get these people in and we welcome them. They, we make them feel at home. You know, they're here and we make them feel at home and that it's safe to have this. If you just need questions, then we answer those questions. But we wanna make you feel like you're getting the right information. We want to provide you with everything that you need to get. We need more places like New Mount Pilgrim. We need no, more places where the, the people know where they're going and know who's providing that service. We need more pop-up places. We need more churches involved and more, more schools involved and in more areas, not so far apart. How do you get the word out? 
how do you entice people to finally make that decision to come in, especially if they've been hesitant or not interested in getting it? Well, we, we, we do it with love and kindness. <laughs> but we pass out flyers, we social media, um, we pass out food. Anything that we give out from the church, we let them know that it's available, the service is available. So we try to, try to meet everybody where they're at. So if you call and say, well, I really want a shot and I need a ride, we'll have one of the deacons call, pick you up, bring you, get your shot, take you back home. We try to meet you where you're at because we need everybody to be on the same page. And so they, a, a faith in a community is uniquely positioned, you know, to challenge people to think of, of something larger than themselves. And so uh, I really, you know, enjoy using this platform to make that case that public health is about community health. And so all of us need to do our part.